The overall goal of this procedure is to generate antibody-producing hybridoma cell lines for the biotechnological production of monoclonal antibodies. This method can be used to generate specific binders for the detection and visualization of biomolecules and for the development of effective detection systems like ELISA, flow cytometry or magnetic cell sorting. The main advantage of this technique is that it facilitates the generation of monoclonal antibody producing cell lines with a predefined specificity and a continuous availability. To prepare the myeloma cells, thaw a vial of murine SP20 cells in warm water. Then transfer the cells into 10 milliliters of culture medium and collect them by centrifugation. Resuspend the pellet in 10 milliliters of fresh culture medium and seed the cells into a 25 square centimeter flask for incubation at 37 degrees Celsius and 5% CO2. Preserving aliquots of the cells for long-term storage after the appropriate number of expansions. To prepare feeder cells, remove the fur from a 12-week-old NMRI mouse and disinfect the abdomen with 70% ethanol. Next, inject 5 milliliters of ice-cold RPMI medium into the abdominal cavity and use tweezers to massage the abdomen. Then withdraw the feeder cell suspension and dispense the cells into a new 50 milliliter tube. 